Welcome back. This lesson is about the biological effects of radiation exposure. CT is actually a very safe imaging procedure, but it is possible for things to go wrong, and that's what this lesson is about. The first series of biological effects that we'll discuss are called deterministic effects. Deterministic effects only occur at very specific doses of radiation and not before. They're very predictable, hence the name deterministic. These types of effects from radiation do have a dose threshold, which means that these dose responses don't occur below certain dose levels. And that's basically what the graph on the left is telling us. At a minimum dose, these effects may begin to occur, and as the dose increases, the severity of the effects increases. Here's a few examples of the doses and dose thresholds that can occur in response to radiation. Radiation-induced miscarriage begins to occur at a dose of 100 mg to the gonads of an expecting female. Oligospermia refers to a diminished sperm count, and that can begin to occur at a dose of 150 mg to the gonads of a male. Cataracts may begin to occur at 2,000 mg. Erythema, or skin reddening, begins to occur at 2,000 mg, and epilation, also known as hair loss, begins to occur at 3,000 mg. In most cases, these doses are hundreds or even thousands of times higher than the doses experienced by patients in CT. A CT procedure that results in any of these effects would usually mean that something went very, very wrong. And sometimes things do go wrong. Here's a few examples. A few years ago, Cedar sinai Medical Center in Los Angeles, California was the first of several hospitals to report massive overexposure from CT brain perfusion scans. The FDA did an investigation, and what they found was 206 patients had received excessive doses in the range of 3,000 to 4,000 milligray. A CT brain perfusion scan normally results in a pretty high dose, but not 3,000 to 4,000 milligray. This dose was so high that many of the patients reported epilation, which again is hair loss. So what went wrong in this scenario? The technologists at the facilities had incorrectly adjusted the noise reducing software and increased the dose eight times higher than the normal value. So as you can imagine, the image noise was really not too bad at all, but the dose to the patient resulted in numerous cases of hair loss. Here's another case study of an overexposure accident in CT that did result in a deterministic effect. On January 23rd, 2008, there was a little boy named Jacoby Roth. He was taken by his parents to a medical center near their hometown. The boy had fallen off his bed, and so the attending physician requested a simple CT of the cervical spine. For whatever reason, the CT technologist, her name was Raven Knickerbocker, scanned the little boy 151 times in a row. This resulted in skin erythema within a few hours, and eventually the patient's dose was estimated at greater than 2,000 milligray. Cases like this are very uncommon, but they're good examples of what can happen when the technologist does not understand how to properly operate the CT scanner. In the case of this little boy, Jacoby Roth, his skin erythema resolved after a few days, but he still has an increased risk of radiation-induced cancer at some point in his life. And that's actually the second category of potential radiation effects in CT. They're called stochastic effects. Stochastic effects are different than deterministic effects. They're not predictable. They don't have any thresholds. At any dose of radiation, the possibility of a stochastic effect increases. The most important stochastic effects are cancer and then heritable effects, also called genetic diseases. Even though there's no dose threshold for things like cancer and genetic diseases, the probability of acquiring a radiation-induced cancer or a radiation-induced genetic disease is very, very low as long as the technologist uses proper radiation dose control. So here's a review of the things that we've talked about. There's basically two categories of radiation effects. There's deterministic effects and stochastic effects. Deterministic effects include several predictable responses to radiation that only occur at specific radiation dose thresholds. It includes things like miscarriage, decreased sperm count, cataracts, skin reddening, and hair loss in response to radiation. Stochastic effects are really the greater concern in CT imaging because they don't have any minimum dose threshold. Stochastic effects include things like cancer and heritable diseases, also called genetic diseases.